hey guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here thank you for joining me today so today we are going to be using the glam light cake palette i am super super excited for this one so this was gifted to me by my friend karen for christmas so thank you karen sorry it's taken me so long to get around to using it but you know i've got such a huge collection excuse me my throat's going on there but yeah i'm really really excited to try glam light's formula i don't have anything else by glam light i want that to change in the future there's a few things on beauty boxes by tammy i'd like to get but for the moment i just want to love what i've got in my collection and this baby is one of them so <clears throat> I was just looking at it before I came on camera and I'm thinking what can I do with this colourful bad boy I could do yellow I'm really looking at those yellows but you guys liked to see an orange look on me so I'm, I feel like I want to do orange first believe it or not so we're gonna go in with Dulce De Lecce as a transition crease shade if I can find my brushes as always guys I need to clean some brushes but I've got quite a lot here that I can just run through the colour switch I saw one just before right, let's try this I'm just going to run it through the colour switch this one is the Sigma Blend in E25 I don't think it's a real Sigma brush um, it could possibly be but I'm sure I got it from eBay quite a while ago it's lasted me years but I didn't pay a fortune for it, so that's why I don't think it's real. Um, I don't know whether to go in with pineapple as well, though. No, we'll just do, like, a two or three very simple eyeshadow look. Um, so we start off with Dulce de Lecce. looking orange it is now get some in the out of V and I haven't put a base down normally I would go in with my white chocolate base I haven't done that today I do however have my NYX white base down just a bit of it that should be enough Right, now we need to blend that out. I'm going to try and do that with this Zoeva 227 Luke's Soft Definer Brush. Blend it out a little bit. Now, I'm not noticing any patchiness or anything like that. I've not heard of any patchiness, but what I have heard is that the glam light formula has changed but i think that's got to do with more of the newer glam light palettes i mean if you've got a big glam light collection please correct me if i'm wrong because like i said i've only got this palette and it seems to be doing fine but i've heard some people say that the formula was changed um mainly in those like martini palettes and that entire collection that, sh that they brought out I do however need now yeah because it's not a shade that I can use from the glam light palette I need to use my white chocolate shade so 
and I was just thinking the other day this would have been the perfect palette to do kind of a birthday series it was my birthday in February and I could have brought it out as a celebration like for my birthday but I didn't think that far ahead but I feel like this palette this glam light palette is a perfect summer palette anyway with all those nice pops of colour in it right so I'm gonna go in by hand now with carrot that one there oh that is beautiful for a girl that doesn't like orange that is beautiful let's see what she looks like on the lid <gasps> Lisa oh my gosh when I say Lisa it's Lisa from Banning Panning and Beyond now if you're not checking her out please go ahead and um, check her channel out she's a dear dear friend of mine and we would both really appreciate it oh this is gorgeous so in the UK before it was thunder and lightning and I hate thunder and lightning more the lightning than the thunder because it is dangerous to go out in look at that um, last year somebody died somebody got struck by lightning a little boy such a shame These shimmers are just so soft and buttery. I didn't notice that when I did the swatches. And they've got really nice sparkly bits in them as well. So guys, I've been off Instagram for a month now. I went back on the 13th of May. So you probably noticed I'm back on there if you follow me. If you don't, I would really, really love you to go ahead and follow me over there. It's at beauty with Andy underscore underscore. But the links are always um, on my channel anyway. So you can just go ahead and click them. What I might do... Is I've noticed quite a few people have them on the um, like channel art like I have but they also put them in the description box as well so I might just start doing that just in case you want to click on the link while you're watching a video or something like that just makes it a little bit easier doesn't it I don't know whether to use another colour like guava this one here how's this gonna look yeah you can't really see it we'll save that for we'll save that for another time stunning um very very simple free eyeshadow look but it's gorgeous i'm gonna put this car no i'm gonna put this dulce deluxe shade on the lash line so yeah, I hope it doesn't thunder when I have to go out in a minute. Well, not in a minute, later on. I'm going to need quite a warm toned highlighter I think and I don't think I brought one in too I might, I might have actually let me just 
go and see what I've got in the shop my stash right so we're gonna use something from here so this is the Dior backstage glow face palette it's in the shade 004 rose gold <coughs> um, and I think I think we're gonna use a mix of that one and that one oh yeah that's nice a bit dark maybe go in with that light shade a bit more yeah I would say that's a bit dark I might try this shade then down here over the top I use that shade more than the others yeah that's made it a little bit lighter can you see how I've worn the print off that more than the other ones um, it's a gorgeous gorgeous face palette guys a bit on the pricey side but that's the your for you um, so that's that done we're gonna go in now with Essence of False Lashes Right, so I just had to reply back to a message that Lisa has sent me. Basically, do you remember that salt lamp that just goes back here? Yesterday I was like cleaning the work surface because it was a bit dusty and I just thought I'd better clean it. And um, I came across this pool of like oil and I'm thinking, where the hell's that come from? Has it come from the candle? Because I've been burning this candle here um so yeah i've been burning that it's from wickford and co and it's pink rhubarb and pear and i fell underneath the candle because i automatically assumed it was the candle oh it smells nice that um it wasn't the candle and then i felt the salt lamp and i felt the oils and i'm thinking oh why is that leaked? Have I got a faulty lamp? And I was speaking to Lisa this morning. She said they recommend that you keep them on all the time. But the thing, I don't like keeping lamps on when I'm out of the flat. Um, so I was going to actually bin it and contact Amazon and send them a very stern email. I'm glad I didn't now. I would have looked a right fool. Apparently they do that if you turn them off. They leak. So what lisa does with hers she said that she puts a coaster underneath it so i'm gonna i'm gonna do something like that i just hope it doesn't blow the entire place so when i switch it back on um but yeah thank you so much for that lisa i really do appreciate it i would have thrown it out um so i'm glad that i asked um but yeah let's put on some lippy now The perfect lipstick for this eye look would be a Jeffree Star one I've got in the shade Yummy. It's the same kind of like orange, kind of like orange virgin on red and it's got speckles of glittering so I might just use that. It needs to be used up, it's drying up. Um, so I really, really wish you could get this lipstick because it's probably one of my favourite Jeffree Star ones that he's brought out today. I don't know if you can see it but the glitter you can just see the glitters in person hmm damn it it worked better last time when I had the NYX pumpkin um, lip liner on underneath in the last video that I had a look like this so it was a Jeffree Star look when I used a mini breaker palette I think it was with the orange look that I did for that I used um, the NYX lip liner underneath it and it just looked a bit more pigmented because this is drying up but I don't want to let it go yet um, I want to get as much out of it as I possibly can um, right let's go in with a bit more of carrot and then the look will be done love that shade 
I'm really surprising myself at the moment getting into orange. And I know two people who will love that. They've kind of converted me into orange. Um, I've always liked orange red lipsticks but never eyeshadow on me. I always thought it didn't suit me. But I actually like this look. It's really, really nice. Love the eyeshadow. Love the shimmer eyeshadow. The matte seem to blend out really, really well. I have only used one matte. Tomorrow I want to go in. Tomorrow I want to use the yellow. So pineapple here. Banana and maybe a bit of cinnamon as well um, just so we can use more eyeshadows in it and then I want to do a purple look I don't think I want to do a blue look I, I mean I should really but I don't think I do uh, we'll see um, definitely three or four looks with the palette so we can do a proper review on it yeah I'm absolutely loving it guys um, so guys let me know which look you like the best as per usual um i don't know how many looks it'll be three or four as a minimum really and um i will see you tomorrow for day two look two hey guys welcome back so today we are doing day two look two and i think i want to play in the yellows today i did want to do that yesterday but i thought i'd use the oranges first so really there are only two yellows in here so does the pineapple one here the matte and then the shade banana I could go in with cinnamon down here um but I brought out the Natasha Denona pastel palette as well just mainly for this inner corner highlight here it's called illusion so I thought we could use that in the inner corners I did think there was kind of a yellow in here the only thing that we've got that could possibly go is this zest shade it's more like a lime green though um so let's just go in with pineapple it might just be a two eyeshadow look well three including the inner corner highlight that i'm gonna do so let's get some brushes i'm just gonna go in with this one i think i got it from a w7 palette um Let's bring you in a little bit closer. Oh, that's bright, isn't it? Let's get some in the outer V. Right, I don't know if it's a fact that I haven't put a powder on top of my white eyeshadow base but it seems to be sticking just here in the corner. I don't know if that's the eyeshadow or the fact that I haven't set my base. It's probably the fact that I haven't set my base because I didn't have a problem with it yesterday with the orange or it could be the eyeshadow. that eyeshadow base tends to get oily around the crease and that's why I normally set it but I didn't do it excuse me okay so interruptions as usual now appearances can be deceptive because in the pan it looks like it is gonna be a banana yellow but it's more like a yellow orange Well, I think so anyway. Like in the pan it looks like a sunshine yellow. Looks like it's got more orange in it. I 
I wonder what it would look like. Um, don't even know where my colour switch is. I wonder what it would look like if we put zest over the top of it to kind of blend it out a little bit. That one there, I know we're not supposed to mix palettes, but it just gives me a chance to use this Natasha Denona one more as well. spoiled it if so it's tough go back in with a little bit more of pineapple So yesterday, using this palette made me want more Glam Light palettes. Um, so we've got a shade here, Banana. I want to use that next. Oh my gosh. It's like a yellow gold. Oh, that's nice. <coughs> I've got pink song in my head that cover me in sunshine. I think I like this more than the orange look I did. Stunning. They're just so sparkly, aren't they? Right, what am I doing for lash line? You know, part of me wants to put peach on. This one here. But I don't want to completely ruin the look. We need to use as much of these shades as we possibly can. So let's do it. At the end of the day, if it ruins it, I'm not exactly going anywhere. I'm just going to go to my mum's. It's more of a red. That's what's making me think, do I want to do it? Let's just put a little bit on. Oh, it's quite neon. It'd be alright. There's a lot of fallout with this one. Without meaning to, I've, done, I've kind of done a reverse cat eye, which looks, does it look kind of 80s? I wasn't going for that vibe if it does. Um, I could really do, maybe this will do, I was just going to say I could really do my colour switch, I don't know where I've put it, I should really have a spare one. Ever the professional. Okay, I think for the brow bone, instead of me going into my Too Faced White Chocolate, I've not used this for a while. I used to use this all the time. It's the Miss Sporty Pump Up Booster Corker Gel Creamy Soft Coral Eyeliner. And it's in the shade 003 Luminous Beige. And I just use it for the brow bone to give a bit of luminosity.
Okay, so now I want to go in with this palette here and I just want to use this illusion shade here um, just in the inner corners. Let's find a brush for this. This one. Yeah, the only thing the cake palette is missing is an inner corner highlight shade and I hate it when companies do that. Because that means you've got to find another palette, whether that be a highlighter palette or a highlighter or an eyeshadow palette. But since I'm using this anyway throughout summer, I thought I might as well drag it out and... Right, I need to try and get this off. See, there's nothing on the left eye. You always go a bit ham on the right. Right, so I've made sure there's no colour on. What I want to do, I've already got highlighter on, but I want to go in with this illusion shade and put a bit on my cheeks. More. That illusion shade is it just a little bit powdery, but it goes on so nicely. It's very similar to the highlight I'm, I'm already wearing, so I don't know if you'll be able to see anything. See, this is the highlight I'm already wearing, which has a pink shift anyway. I'm wearing my Dior one. And then this um, Natasha Denona one has kind of a white to blue shift. So now that we've got the matching highlighter on, just put this palette away for a minute. See if I can get my mascara. Right, I've not done this for a while. Where is it? Let's do both combinations. Right, so I'm going in with Essence Lash Princess first. Oh, I was wrong. The Natasha Denona um, in a corner highlight that I've got on Illusion actually does have a pink shift, not a blue shift. I want to get some pastel liners guys. I had a look in Superdrug last time I was in town last week and for one liner it's £8. It was either £7.99 or £8.99. I think it might have been £8.99. £9 for a liner because I wouldn't just want one. I want like a, a lilac one and I want um, a mint green one I think. That's £16 for two liners. Right, so while that's drying, I do want to go back in again in a second with banana. Um, but while it's drying, I want to put this on. It's fairly new to the collection. Um, so it's sleek in Rioja Red. So we're going to put this on. I'm not too sure how I feel about it and that's why I want to wear it. So let's see. Sorry guys, it was the technical fault with one of the files. So I'm going to insert a picture of the overall look. Right guys, so it stopped recording so you won't see me applying the lipstick but this is what it looks like. So yeah, I think it's a really, really nice colour. Um, it's just a matter of the wear time and I put it on in a recent video when I was going to do a whole date look and it's kind of... It isn't kiss proof. Not that that matters, but what that means is like when I'm out drinking, if I go on a date that is, and I'm out drinking, then it's going to kind of like get all horrible around the lip area. So it's not the perfect lipstick to go out when I'm going out because with red lipstick, it's not forgiving, is it? So yeah. Um, but I want to try it and like when I'm around the house and when I'm 
like going to my mum's it's a really nice lipstick to wear I just don't know if it's I just don't know if it's the kind of lipstick to wear on a night out um, not that I have many of those um, but yeah this is the overall look guys so this is day two look two so this is day two look two we're kind of being experimental with this look I didn't tell you that neon shade yeah it was called peach wasn't it not that it's a peach it's like a neon red really um, so that one is called peach let's go in with a bit more banana Mm -mm -mm, stunning right so I think we'll leave it there so like I said this is day two look two thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow for day three look three hey guys and welcome back to the channel so today is day three look three excuse me with the beautiful glam light cake palette um I think I'm gonna do a purple look today I kind of want to use strawberry it doesn't look like strawberry at all does it i want to use strawberry i want to use oob um i might use lavender as well and purple frost this one here for the outer v and on the lash line we're just gonna see what we can create see if this brush is any good and we'll probably use that in a corner highlight i used yesterday from the natasha denona pastel palette just this illusion one here right so let's go in with oob first on this bh cosmetics 119 brush where have i put my mirror always happens it's not really a blending brush but No, it's not working. Choose this one. Right, so now I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush by Real Techniques. It's a 305 one. Back in with the same shade. Oh, that's better. Sorry guys, I've got the dryer and the washer going at the moment. I've been catching up with so many chores today. So, that's the noise you can hear. And I only want to do one purple look. There's quite a few purples in this palette, but I only want to do one. And then tomorrow, I think for the final look, I think I want to use this cinnamon shade and do a neutral look. Um, the shades that we haven't used, we'll just have to pull out the palette towards the end of the summer. Right, what I want to do is I want to get my Too Faced Chocolate Butter Palette. Yeah, 
yeah that'll do because that's just a transition really um let's go in with that deeper purple so that one is called purple frost same brush Taking it about halfway into the crease. I'm not using too much of it because I don't really want it to be that dark. Oh, she says, put a bit too much on the left eye. Right, okay, so I'm going to bring you in closer. I'm not 100% sure, you know, what I want to do. Let's try using this brush again for this. So let's go in with strawberry on the inner and outer corner. But this isn't the correct brush for it or oh, this is the shadow that's not performing out of the no it is it just wasn't the correct brush or well, I think these might be like um Colourpop Super Shocks you have to put them on with your finger now I've only left a bit of room for that other shade lavender that one there put that one in the center yeah that looks nice right so let's do the other side It's just hard to put on with your chunky fingers. It's not too bad on the outer corner. Let me just go and get a cloth and we'll just pop a little bit more of lavender on. You know, part of me also wants to put a bit of this on as well. Um, blueberry and just get as much use out of the shades as possible. Let me see. I think it'll be too dark. Let's try and put it on somewhere. Yeah, you can't see it over that shade anyway. We'll just have to use that um, a different time. I just looked at the palette earlier though. There's also this guava shade. I think I want to use guava tomorrow. Um, I might do the same thing again. I might just do kind of a halo eye with guava and cinnamon and use chocolate and dolce de leche. Um, we're not going to bother with the blues maybe we could use either one of these blues today as a lash line or key lime i know it's completely different but i just want to get an overall opinion for you guys and let you know if it's a good quality palette 
Um, I'm going to need my sponge. Okay. Um, let's get some kind of lash line brush oh there's one here I'm being drawn to key lime which is that really nice matte green again it's that one being drawn to that just let me see if there's any others So again we're going on that reverse cat eye um, trend that I did yesterday. So now I'm going to go on with the mascara. So we've got Essence Lash Princess and Essence of False Lashes. I'm going to use them. We're going to combine them is what I'm trying to say. So I will give you a review tomorrow, but it won't be an in-depth review. I'm going to do that at the end of next month. So not the end of May because I've just done one at um, the end of June. So we'll, we'll um, talk about all the palettes I've used from now until June, kind of mid-June. And then we'll talk about them again and I'll let you know my thoughts in a little bit more depth. I'm actually liking this more now guys it seems to have I don't know it, it's like it's gone more wet the formula um, since I first used it and I do like a wet formula in mascara this one has stayed wet as well and um, this is probably why it's a holy grail I don't like it when it goes dry and flakes on you I mean, to be honest, I probably don't need this one. The other one did quite a good job. Right, and then lipstick. I'm going to use this Project Pan one because I've not really used it this month. And there's only a tiny bit left, so I want to use as much of it as I can. Well, I'm doing the Project Pan update after this video, so it's only going to be used one time this month. I'm going to blot it a bit. Right, so I've just blotted it just a tiny bit. Let's go back in with some more lavender. That's that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not looking too bad. Um, so, so far so good with the palette. I really, really love the shimmers that are in here. They're so metallic and glittery. Um, so this is the overall look for today, guys. And even that pop of green it looks quite nice with the look, I think. Um, so yeah, we're going to leave it here. And please join me tomorrow for the final look. I'll see you then.